So we got to see old man Rodgers hit the football field. This is a guy who has not played preseason football since 2018. If you don't know, it's 2023 right now. That's five years ago. So even seeing him, third week, about to go into the regular season, new team, new scenery, new city, everything that's going on. I think it's good to see that Aaron Rodgers is still in it mentally. Like I said, physically understand that I'm seeing his arm. I think his arm is as live as it ever as it has ever been. But I think that now looking at how he's interacting with his teammates, how he's working along with those guys, how he's going to basketball games with the Sauce Gardner, how Sauce Gardner is reciprocating that energy. I'm getting you a chain, my QB. So I, I'm seeing everything that they're doing and we understand the hype with the New York Jets. A lot of people are saying Super Bowl or bust. And I think that that is fair. That is credited because the defense is the defense. It's elite. And, and the funniest thing I heard when talking about the New York Jets defense, they said the defensive line, they come at you with Bryce Huff. They come at you with Will McDonald. They just drafted him. They come at you with Jermaine Johnson. They come at you with Quentin Williams, all of those guys. And it's the thing that I forgot who said this, but they said it's like going against a hurricane every play. Every time you line up against the New York Jets defensive line and you're the offensive lineman, you're the quarterback, you're running into a hurricane every single snap. And they come at you in waves. They got Franklin Myers. They have a rotation. And, and the thing is, they don't run typical defensive line pass rush quadrants. They're going to stunt you. They're going to do a lot of different things, blitzes, every possible thing you can imagine coming at you from a defensive line. That is what the New York Jets and Robert Sala have going on with that team. So that's one thing to say. But touching on Aaron Rodgers and everything I saw saw today I think that I'm very confident in Aaron Rodgers now I say I'm confident because we say okay he's a Hall of Fame quarterback why would you be confident in a guy who we already understand what he is now last season though did have some struggles there were a lot of outside and factors within Aaron Rodgers contributing to those factors that played a part in that last year I think we can say that it's not all on him but it's not all out of him either it, it was some of that on Aaron Rodgers so I mean I think that now in that second half of the season, you see a Romeo Dobbs stepping up. You see a Christian Watson stepping up, getting three touchdowns against the Dallas Cowboys. I think that we saw it. It was going to take some time with those rookie receivers, with those guys. And now a lot of people are saying that it's the New York Packers. He has Randall Cobb. He has Alan Lazar. He has some of those guys that he had in that system now bringing it over. He has Nathaniel Hackett, and he's more comfortable with Nathaniel Hackett. I don't think that, yes, he's worked with Matt LaFleur, and they had a they had a relationship and a combination, but I think he's more comfortable with his guy in Nathaniel Hackett and the fact of that He's going to have a lot of input into this offense and what they do and the schemes they run and the tempo in which they run. Because what I think Roger was saying is that I want to go tempo. I want to get I want to get the ball going fast. I want to get downfield. I want to run no huddle. And I think that Matt LaFleur ran a lot of West Coast things, had a lot of motion. And we understand with motion, that's slowing down the tempo of the plays. Now, getting into really why I say Nathaniel Hackett and Aaron Rodgers, their stamps were all over this game. Tyler Conklin got involved early. Garrett Wilson is that guy. And I, I'm starting to see it with the fantasy drafters, all of the guys who do sports betting, everything you look at. Garrett Wilson, get him on your team. I don't know what round you want to draft them in, but it better be a high one when you're talking about receivers. Because what we know about Aaron Rodgers, when he likes a guy, when he trusts a guy, he's going to feed him the football. And what I saw in this game is that he only had about eight pass attempts in the first quarter. But a lot of those targets went to Garrett Wilson. So understanding that and really the New York Giants they had good coverage on Garrett Wilson I mean they had the one play where it was the face mask on the tackle by Gilbert and then outside of that when he caught the fade in the end zone it was still good coverage but Garrett Wilson showing that he's that guy I want offensive rookie of the year with a Mike White with a Zach Wilson now I got Aaron Rodgers it's scary hours when we're talking about that in New York. But I want to talk about some of those other things because I think that adding into their first drive and some of the things that I saw, they had a real good rhythm going early. And I think that with Randall Cobb, when he had the crack back block, I'm kind of still confused on what are the actual rules with the crack back block. And I'm kind of confused on also the kickoff return. There are some rules that the NFL has added during this offseason. I think that we just got to see it. We got to continue to see these reps and plays and the flags and how they're being thrown. Because some of the things I'm not understanding right now, especially the crack back one and seeing DTR, he also got fined for a crack back block. So I still have to see some more things or maybe I got to look into some more things and see what actually qualifies as a crack back in this because Randall Cobb, I think that he tried his best to get in front of him. It didn't look like a dirty hit. And even with DTR, it didn't look like a dirty hit. So that's one thing I have to say. And then 
Also, outside of that, we talked about his arm being as live as ever. We talk about Garrett Wilson being his number one. Tyler Conklin got a ball. McCole Hardman got a ball. And Zonovan Knight caught another one. So he got those guys involved early. They scored a touchdown. But defensively as well, we have to think because a lot of people want to put it on Roger's shoulders. They want to say, okay, you got to be the guy that won back-to-back MVPs. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Because you have a top five defense in the New York Jets. You have a defensive mind in Robert Sala. So understanding that, that that's the first thing you got to understand. Because like I said, they can come at you in waves. They got the guys in the back end to do it. DJ Reed, Michael Carter, Sauce Gardner. Now, Jalen Hyatt, he, he does have that electric burning speed. And he tried to get behind Sauce Gardner on two plays that I saw. Tyrod tried to get it to him. Could not connect on that. But I do want to note that. And I mean... I think that when we look at these guys, even in the second level, you still got a CJ Mosley. He can be an all pro in any given year. So I talk about everything that they possibly have in Jermaine Johnson. I mean, he's he's been a nightmare in the preseason and really he had two big time pressures against Matt Pert actually had a sack on one had the pressure on the first one and then drew the holding call. So I'm looking at everything. And I think outside of that, Touched on defense, touched on receiving court, Aaron Rodgers, how he looks, how I think he's mentally driven this season. But the offensive line, those guys are getting back healthy. Now, you question with the depth. I think that you see Elijah Vera Tucker, he was on the football field. You see Lakin Tomlin, you see Lakin Tomlinson, excuse me, he was on the football field. They're two starting guards. And then understanding Makai Becton has to stay healthy. Center has to stay healthy. Dwayne Brown, he's an older guy. So those guys... We're, they're fairly healthy now. So it's about staying healthy, stacking that. We understand when these guys are healthy, it's a very good offensive line. I don't think the problem is that you say OL concerns. I don't think it's because these guys are not truly talented. I think it's a lot of talent with those starting five guys, but I think they got to stay healthy to be anything significant or close to their potential. So that's what I want to say about the offensive line. But what did you guys think? Aaron Rodgers' first game time action with the New York Jets. I mean, it's new. I think it's different seeing him. I mean, we've seen him on the sidelines. We've seen hard knocks and different things, the joint practices, but seeing it on the football field in his preseason, understand that, but really some game time action. I I think it was a little different for me. It's still early. It's a lot of things that have to be worked on and a lot of things that have to happen for this team to become a Super Bowl contender, but I think they've surrounded Aaron Rodgers in this stage in his career with everything that he needs. Pretty solid showing. Let me know what you think below in the comments. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. That's going to do it for today's show. And now, we out.